interesting, informative. Oh, brings one all. Welcome back to another tape here on the channel for you all. And this time, I got a special little collection that I want to show for you all. Now, I don't have every single one, but I managed to pick up at least a good bundle of these magazines. As for what magazines they are, well, they're one of the best franchises of magazines that I've read since I was young. Even as an adult now, I still enjoy reading them, and that is nothing more than Nintendo Power. Back then, these magazines were the bomb. For anybody who had an NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Nintendo 64, you name it. If you were stuck on a game, or if you were looking forward to a game that's coming out, or if you needed information, or if you just wanted to look at something to read for your own gaming pleasures, these were the books for you. These, these books gave you insights, details. If you are stuck on a particular section, it'll show the landscape. It'll occasionally provide cheat codes. It'll give you information how to play the game. And it'll show various other games as well within said issue of what the theme is, along with other games that are going to be coming out. And it's going to be showcasing also how to help you with any game that you are stuck on. And not only that, there was also different various cool things like posters, there was also these little uh, Nintendo Power Challenge trading cards as well that came with almost any magazines, which I managed to find. Uh, it also came with a, a little subscription note of uh, an issue. If your subscription runs out, you can ask your parents or bug them consistently to give you another monthly issue of a new Nintendo Power magazine that's coming out. And the thing is that even if you didn't have an issue, if you went to your local game store, you were able to buy these books cheap at the time and grow your collection a lot more. Now, as for what I have in my possession, let's take a look. Here's my entire Nintendo Power magazines from the earliest volume to the latest one. I was able to get my hands as much as I can to grow myself a nice little collection and... Um, Obviously, you can see right here that I got a nice little uh, library here. So, enough talk, straight to business. First one I have here is St Star Tropics, Perils in Paradise. Next one I have here is TMNT3, The Manhattan Project. Next up is Super Castlevania 4, Simon's Monstrous New Quest. Next one I have here is WWF Super WrestleMania. Next one here is Lemmings Over the Edge Excitement. You can see how excited the little bastard is. Next up is Mario Paint. Fun ass game. Next up is Felix the Cat. This one right here is one of my favorite covers and one of my favorite magazines in my entire possession. Not only because of the landscape, but the game itself is just absolutely fun. And that is Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Great fucking game and uh, look at the cover. I don't even need to say anything. It's fucking beautiful. Next one I have here is Super Star Wars. Next up here is Road Runner's Death Valley Rally. Poor Wild E. Coyote. He is one disappointed some bitch. Next up here is Dark Wing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Next book I have here is this little fat some bitch. We have the event the Adams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. <laughs> Next here is Tiny Toons Adventures, Buster Bus Loose. Yeah, Buster Bus and not more like it. Next one right here now, I'm just going to let you all, you, let you folks know is that some of these books that I picked up over time, the covers are a little worn off and the one, the book that I got, the person that I ordered this prior from, yeah, you can see right here that these were probably in storage for quite some time or wherever they were stored at and uh, I'm not really too happy that the cover is a little damaged it's rubbing off but we have Star Fox 
Next one we have here is Batman Return. Mm -hmm. Next one right here is Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs, along with the promotion of some Double Dragon discussion going on. Another one of my favorite covers right here. Next book is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Next book in my possession is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Next up here is Old Ass Yoda. We have Super Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Next book here is Secret of Mana. Cool Ass Dragon. I also have Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. Great movie too. Now, I don't know if you can see this one properly, but what we have here is, if I am not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong with this issue, it is the bonus edition of Mega Man 2. Now we're getting to some Nintendo 64 business. Next book I have here is Ken Griffey's Jr. Next up here is Super Metroid. This right here is all, one of my other favorite covers, and it's one of my favorite Super Nintendo games of all time. And, I, and honestly, for those out there, and some may say, and I'm one of them saying that I think this is, if not one of the greatest Super Nintendo games ever been made. It's fucking superb. Next up here is Donkey Kong. He looks like he's trying to take a shit or he's severely constipated. You should go see a doctor about that. Next up here is Street Fighter 2. Or Super Street Fighter 2, excuse me. Next book here is Surrounding Mortal Kombat 2. Next up is Illusions of Gaia, Ganya, Gia. Anyways, we have the book for Donkey Kong Country. Fun ass game. Next here is the bonus issue, Nintendo Power 95. Here is Stargate. Here is fucking Kirby. This little fat son bitch. So, don't miss Nintendo Power Awards, X-Band Expos, uh, Mortal Kombat 3 behind the scenes. A little bit of some in-depth details going on here with this book. But there's Kirby shooting out shit. And, uh... This, this little fucking hamster in shock. So it's Kirby's Dreamland 2. Next book here is Donkey Kong Land. This right here, we have The Virtual Boy. Let me see if I can open this book up and showcase the uh, illustration of what they were going for with The Virtual Boy. And I'll do a little showcase with that. Just a little quickly. So here it is, the Virtual Boy. I have played this system. Exactly what it is, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> but yeah, the Virtual Boy arrives. It's talking about the games of what's to be expected when you play this thing. It's supposed to be one of the first three-dimensional uh, virtual reality game, game systems. And when I tried playing it, it did nothing more but hurt my fucking eyes. So there's Mario's Tennis, the only, if not one, the only good games on it tells you exactly how to play the game and this is the beauty about the Nintendo Power magazines is that it gives you all the games of what's coming out what's to be expected and gives you a landscape of a game that you already have but when you order the Nintendo Power magazine you can look in the book and you can see all the descriptions and details of what's being talked about with said game that you are stuck on or excited for playing Gives you like little hands, cheat codes, characters. Gives you the entire premise and landscape from the beginning uh, level to the end level. Look at Mario's face there, the little bastard. And it also gives you just literally amazing details. So we got Galactic Pinball. This one was pretty fun for like five minutes before I got a headache. You got... 
Tello, Tello Boxer. Tellero Boxer, this little boxing game. But yeah, folks, that's what, like, this right here is like an example of what you'd expect in any sort of uh, Nintendo Power magazine. Great stuff. Next up here is Donkey Kong Country 3, uh, Dixie's Kong's Double Trouble. Next book is Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Next up here is Mortal Kombat 3. Next up here is Killer Instinct Gold. Next up is Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Next up here is Nintendo Power's Happy Nintendo Year. And this, and look at this. It's hard to hold this with one hand. But look at this. Ultra. Beautiful. And last book that I have in my entire possession is... Killer Instinct 2 in the arcades. So there you have it, folks. Uh, that's literally all the Nintendo Power magazines that I have in my current possession at this very moment. Uh, maybe at some point I'll get more and grow the collection, get some newer ones, get some of the original ones, if I'm lucky and counting my lucky stars. But as for now... I'm quite content with the Nintendo Power magazines that I have in my current collection. And um, I'm going to go through them, start reading through them, and start uh, reconnecting with some games that I used to play all those years ago. And maybe play some new games that I am aware of, but I never had the opportunity to play of. So, time for me to do some deep sea ex explorations with the uh, Nintendo Power magazine. So... I hope you all enjoyed the collection showcase, and uh, ciao for now.